I hate it when strangers interrupt me talking to my husband. The next time you will try it again, I would not be the salt. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Fine. What's up? Um, I can't really talk. That's why I just, um, yeah, wasted time taking. What is it? What's the problem? So you left me at the parlor to come and answer this particular call. When you know we were, we were in the middle of middle of what? I ask you, middle of what? What's your problem? Must you follow me everywhere? Are you a fly? What's your business? You're mad. Okay. She's no longer open, sweetheart, my love. It's now open now. Open now, I will kill you there. Same to you. Are you talking to me? God bless you. Wait, so you don't have the gods, are we? You're not growing wings. That doesn't answer my question. And do not even think of covering up for it. Who were you talking to on the phone? You're mad. Are you mad? Don't judge my feelings. You're mad. Ha! <laughs> 
heard all you said but I urge you to have a little more patience with Olivia I don't know if she ever told you about her past before you proposed to her well she told me she was once married which wasn't a problem to me because I've been in that part but I can tell how it feels Oh, it gladdens my heart to hear this from you. Please, a little more patience with her. Talk to your wife. Talk sense into her. Tell her things she do not know about. Please, madam. I have found doubt. All thoughts. But it's not working. That's why I decided to come to you. You are the mom. You must have. You know that better than I do. Please. Help me talk to her. Um, I will. I promise you. I will talk to her. But please. Like I said. A little more patience. Oh, I will talk to her. I believe you. Thank you so much for believing in me. Thank you. Well, I have to be on my way. It's all right. <laughs> my regards to your family. It's okay. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs>
How long have you worked here? Um, three years, sir. Are you comfortable working here? Sure, sir, I am. With the recent changes around here, do you think you can still cope? Or rather, would you like to resign? Yes, I can cope. I need the job and I also need the money, sir. Why is this? Well, I'm sorry for what happened earlier today. No problem, sir. It's okay. But for such thing not to repeat itself, you have to be very careful with my wife. Okay, sir. I will. Good. You can go. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, um, one more thing. Whatever that happens here remains in here. Okay, sir. I hate gossip. Come go. Welcome, my husband. Thank you. Why would you sound like that now? What do you mean you will not pay me a visit in my house anymore? Yo, don't, don't sound like that now. You saw how I handled the situation. Yeah, I reacted instantly. Okay, okay, no problem. So if she apologized to you, then you'll be fine. All right. No problem, just hold on, stay on the phone. Olivia! 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 Stop. Yes, babe, I'm coming! Just hold on. Uh, baby, you... Hey, hey, just shut up. I'm not your baby. Now listen, my friend is on the line. I need you to apologize to him for all the nonsense you did the last time. Tell him you're sorry. Take Excuse me? For what? How? Why should I apologize to someone that I did nothing wrong to? Now listen to me. If you don't apologize to him, you will pack your things and get out of this house. I'm not joking with you. Now, for the last time, apologize to him. Take. But, baby, you were there now. I did not insult him. He intruded into our conversation. Are you, are you... I, I, I do not such thing. I can't help you. Take. I apologize to him. I think it's different.
Are you angry with me? Do I have the right to be angry? If you have the reason to, why not? Are you saying this nonsense to provoke me the more? Baby, you're shouting. And you know shouting drives me crazy. Please, sit down. It's okay, can I go now? Can I go? Baby, please, uh, sit down. I, I need to discuss something with you. Please. I want to spend some time with my husband. Uh, I need you. You can't be going to work all the time. <gasps> Please. I'm coming. Dressed. You're supposed to be dressed up. Uh, we need to go down to the kitchen to mix something to it. We need to spend some time together. Not this way. I'll be waiting for you in the kitchen. Just hurry up. Dress up. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. Why are you bouncing yourself like a tennis ball? Excuse me. I am bouncing myself like a tennis ball. How dare you? Tell me, Uncle Steve. How can you go to my mother's house and report me to her? You told my mom that I've been stabbing you of sex. Why? Why would you do that? Did I lie against you? Since we got married, have you ever been loved? This is the seventh month of our marriage. Yet you deny me access to my right. <laughs> my body? Your right? Excuse me? Look, I married you legally. I paid your bride price. Stop making this in as if somebody lured into this marriage. <laughs> Mm. <sighs> Olivia, just calm down. Calm down. 
And you answer me, Mr. Husband. Did you get married to me because you love me? Or because you want me to, to, be, to be giving you sex? Now you tell me which of them? You cannot say anything because you are confused. Why are all men the same? Can't you be different? I do not know the reason why you, you got married to me, Uncle Steve. When you left for me, I got married to you because I needed some space. I needed to leave my parents' high. I needed to cool off my head. I needed some rest. Not to be giving you sex all the time. Can't you be different? But you can't be the same. It is so confusing. I don't know what she's doing. She's so hard to understand Madame Ekopu girl Sometimes she's sweet like sugar And then she turns into fire There is no remedy, no peace Madame Ekopu girl Omara Mulari Agotarum Chacha Kosia Pagwa Obiwe Kopala Madame Ekopu girl Chacha, Kosia Pagwa, Obiwe, Kopala, Madame Kopugo. She is going mad, she is going crazy. Madame Kopugo, she is going crazy. I don't understand it. Respect yourself. What's your problem? Don't do it when somebody don't want you. Don't do it when someone is not in the mood. Respect yourself and leave me alone. Ah, uh, you are not in the mood. Tell me why you are not in the mood. Tell me why you are not in the mood. Tell me why you are not in the mood. Tell me why. I am your wife and I need you right now. Hey, just stop that and stop killing the title. What's your problem? You think sex is everything? Any spot is sex, sex, sex. Listen, people get married for different reasons. All right. So don't stop, stop fronting sex. I don't. I'm not in the mood for your information. You will not stay in my room again. Listen, I will be in the master's room and you will be in the other room. I need us to have space. Let's, let, let, let's give ourselves some space. Ah, what is it, Tef? Can you hear yourself talk of me now? You want your wife to go and stay in another room whilst you will be in another room? Is that you making sense? I told you already, I'm not in the mood, so just let me be. Ah, please, just give me, give me some space. Ah, what is it? Respect yourself. Leave me alone. Are you, are you alright? Come on, leave me alone. What's your problem? Can't you control yourself? What's your, what's your own? Are you mad? She is going mad, she is going crazy. Madame Kapu girl, she is going crazy. I don't understand it. Yeah.
Cosa, cosa, cosa.